Hello everybody and today we're going to be I'm going to be teach, teaching you how to do a double loop over double loop and then over triple loop with the <coughs> uh, round loom the yarn and the hook double band and triple band with these three methods. Hello everybody I'm going to be showing you another their way of uh, another stitch and this is called the double loop over double loop. Now as you can see I have four. And what I'm going to do is put these two over these two. And it's great if especially if you want to make a skirt or pants. What you want to do is you want to take these and while it's just is e wrap loosely. Because if you're tight what happens is you can't do the up and over. Now see over here it's too tight up and over and if you do that you just wiggle it uh, like like this here and you just pull it out you know um, you just pull them out here and with this one here you just pull them out and up and over and it's great if you're making a skirt panel or skirt and pant now these two are going to go up and over and you want to pull out up and over and scooch down and it because it gives it body and texture to whatever you're making whether it's skirt pants you could be making a top and it's a really great stitch and move it up and over and I like it when it's loose so that way you can bring it up and over and the reason why I pull it out is so you know okay there's the stitch and up and over and it's a really good stitch if you want to make body and if you want to add body to your uh, to your piece or if you if even if you just want to do as practice and as you can see and it's better to have it loose And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this and add two more. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like. And then I'll show you another uh, stitch only it will be over three. And a good tip on e-wrapping is to use both fingers and one to wrap it and then one to hold it so that way it can uh, you know it will be loose and I also like to use it as then that way I you know one is loose and then two um, and then two, it's it's better, and then that way you know it's around without unraveling. And if it unravels, like that, just e wrap it again. But that's a good tip. Okay, this here is what it looks like with uh, the double over double loop. 
and it makes it a unique uh, thing. And I also like it because it helps. Uh, it uh, really helps make dimension over your piece. What I'm going to show you now is how to put dub the double loop over three. And the way I'm going to do it is the again e wrapping it loosely. I'm going to bring these two bands here over these three bands here. And you now here you do have it will be a little tight at first going on the first one. And that's why I like to e wrap it loosely. And then down. I will show you again with these two. I move those two up. And this I love doing this because again it makes it makes a uh, dimension and I like it because it's a great stitch. And again, when you're e wrapping it, do a little uh, loosely. And you want to bring this up and over. Now it's going to be a little tighter because you're doing a uh, three band over three band, three um, loops instead of uh, the one or two. And then you go up and you over. And the best way I like to hold it is with my thumb and with my fingers on the other side. And then I show you again. I'll show you a few more times. And and it makes great dimension in your piece. And I like this is one of my favorite stitches that I like to do because it's great for the pant for your pants and skirts. Especially the skirt panels. And up and over. Scooting down. Up. And over. And scooting down. A couple more times. Up. And... It will be a little tight, so you may have to just move them forward. And one that, and up and over. Well, what I'm going to do is finish this row, and then do another row, and then show you what, what it looks like. Up and over, and that's why I like to keep it loose. Up and over. Okay, this is what it looks like after two rows, and as you can see, also the uh, double. And this is what you should have left right over here. And it is. And it is a gr great thing, especially to put texture or a little fullness into you, your project. Well, I do hope you you uh, like this. And tell me what you think, whether you want more of the pearl stitch here or the um, triple stitch or even the double stitch, either double and double, double and triple. Uh, please let me know in the like section. And, in, and if you like it, you can like it. And put it in the comment section below what you want. And whether you want more different projects and different kind of stitches. Let, please let me know in the comment section. And you can show me what projects you have uh, have uh, done with the triple, with the um, double on double or double on triple uh, on your 
Facebook page or your Instagram, and show me what you've done. And in the meantime, happy looming.